Hi guys. I am coming here to film my empties video. It's been a while. I've been just dealing with changes in life and um, really good changes. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm getting over being sick. Um, and yeah, so I started a new job and it's three days at home, two days in the office. So I have a little bit more flexibility to melt wax, burn my candles, all the above. And I'm really happy about it. Um, as you can see, I do have a setup over here with monitors. That is where I've been working when I am home. This week actually started my first full week of three days at home, two days in the office. For the past few weeks, I've been training every day in the office and the drive is about 45 minutes. So it's been a lot to deal with and I've been so tired coming home. But this week is a little bit different. So I am feeling really good. It's Tuesday, so, so far so good. Um, it's nice to be able to clock out and just be done, already be home. It's really, really cool. If you work from home, then you probably really enjoy it. Some people don't like working from home. I like, um, I like the fusion of working from home and going into the office. I like both. I'm more of a recluse. Um, but I know it's good to keep socialization going in your life. And of course, you know, I have my family and stuff, um, and my stepkids and my fiance. Uh, but you know, it's not the same, just going out and talking to other adults. So yeah, I really like that it's half and half. Anyways. Um, let's hop into my empties. I tried filming it yesterday and Travis ended up calling me and then I tried filming it again and it just didn't work out. So it's so frustrating because that happens to me more than not where I'm filming a video and I get interruptions. So you might be able to hear my cat in the litter box. I'm sorry guys, but I just want to film this video, throw everything out and start fresh. So some of the stuff has been in here for a while. Um, I'll try my best to tell you what I think of it. And if I don't remember, then I will just tell you. All right, so first I have candle here from Bath & Body Works in pumpkin vanilla creme. I got a few of these a few years ago from a semi annual sale. They were like six bucks and change. And I really, really like this one. This one is creamy vanilla, I mean, sorry, creamy pumpkin, vanilla creme, fresh ground nutmeg, and graham cracker crust. It was just a really nice, like creamy vanilla pumpkin scent. <clears throat> it was really strong. It burned really, really nicely. A little bit of soot, but sometimes I keep on burning for too long. Um, and it was just really, really nice, um, strong. Get the rest of the candles. This is another one of those candles that I got at the same time as that one from a semi-annual sale. This is sugared pecan pie. And again, this was my last one out of the few that I did buy and seen with the pumpkin vanilla creme. I bought a few of these and these are the last of these. I'm just trying to use up, these are from 2021 and I'm just trying to use up um, what I have left of 2021. Now she's on the scratcher. Um, I don't have a lot left. I think this might have been the last of my 2021 candles. Um, so yeah, and that's just what I'm trying to do, but Either way, this candle is so good. It is gooey brown sugar filling, toasted pecans, and homemade pie crust. Oh my gosh. It's so good. I, <clears throat> the first one I did, I was like, wow. But this one was just the same wow. It's just so good. 
it's so like comforting. It was like a comforting, thick brown sugar bakery, pecans, like it was just perfect. And I really, really like this one. And I don't know if they ever brought it back. I don't know anything about that. I don't really follow up on stuff like that. Like I buy candles, whatever sounds good. Whatever I know I like, I buy, but I haven't seen that one, so I don't know. Okay, I finished in single wicks. I do the single wicks only in this master bathroom right here in our bedroom. <coughs> Excuse me. I've noticed these single wicks burn so fast. Like, I just feel like I burn these a couple times and they're done. I don't really know... I know obviously it's a smaller amount of wax, but still, I just feel like they go by so fast. So I don't know. I don't really burn them every day. I mean, I do just about, but for a few hours at a time. I don't know. But this one is cinnamon spiced vanilla. Not happy about it. Not happy. Fresh ground cinnamon, sugar crystals, Tahitian vanilla bean. It was very light. And look at all this soot at the top. But that's just because I did keep it burning for a while. But I got little to nothing out of this. It was mainly like I got like a slight vanilla. But that's it. And you would think cinnamon would be strong. But it's not. And I think I have a three wick in this. So I'm interested to see how it burns. I do have a single wick here in pumpkin pecan waffles. I'm just not happy with the candle. I've tried it so many times. I actually have one in my bathroom right now because um, I bought so many of them because I really do like the scent, but the way it burns is just not good. Um, first of all, this is just not a good single wick to begin with. Um, it burned itself out and there was still a lot of wax there, but it smells so delicious on cold, but then on warm, it's just, it smells burnt to me. Like it smells like a burnt pumpkin pecan waffles. So I prefer PPW in wax. It's so good. Um, but I'm just, I'm not much of a bakery person. I do melt and burn bakery scents, but I always prefer like, a straight pumpkin cinnamon or a straight like you know what I mean like I'm just not too big in a bakery but I just don't really like that one in candle form so <clears throat> yeah but I really did like the sugared pecan pie so if you ever see that highly recommend smelling it okay and then I finished this candle from Aldi I got this last year and it's called Monster Mash. Super cute packaging. And this one just says bakery, sage, and floral. That's all it says on the description. I don't really know where they got that from because this just straight up smelled to me like leaves. Kind of like leaves from Bath and Body Works. Um... I don't really know. I didn't get bakery or floral or anything like that, but I really liked this candle. It honestly, these candles are like four bucks. Um, first of all, the burn was pretty clean. Um, <clears throat> burned all the way down to right here. And it was just really, really good. It was really good. And it, it blew up in my house. Like it, I did this in my kitchen. I do all my three weeks in my kitchen, just about. I do one at a time, and it pretty much goes throughout my whole open concept. And this was so, so, so strong. Like, just as strong as any of my Bath & Body Works candles, maybe even stronger. And it was, it did so well. So, <clears throat> it did get puny wicks about halfway down, but um, it was still strong, so... I really like Aldi candles. I just haven't bought any recently because, oh, I'm sorry, 
my cats. And you guys are on my windowsill and my cat's trying to get around. Um, I haven't bought any recently because I haven't been to Aldi, but I really love their candles. If you're ever like curious how they are, they're, they, they're three wicks are really good performers for the most part, like from what I've tried, like fall type candles, winter candles, stuff like that. All right, let's move on. So here I have a Champagne Toast shower gel that I finished. Sorry, cat hair. Um, I love Champagne Toast, especially in like the shower gel. It's just so fresh and fruity, bright, bubbly. It's so, so good. And it just, I love it in the shower. I did finish a creamy <clears throat> body wash. I forget what they're called. Um, <clears throat> in warm vanilla sugar. I hated it. It was so bad, guys. It just smelled like plastic to me. And it was so unenjoyable. I just, I used it up to use it. And it wasn't even old. It, it I just think it was a bad batch. Maybe the creamy ones go bad faster. I don't know, but I just didn't, I hated it. It was so bad. My cat's right here next to the camera. All right. I finished a hand soap here in Coastal Watermelon. The, this is from 2021. I got a bunch from this collection during a semi-annual sale for 75% off. So they were like a dollar and change. And I have so many of these, but I did this in the kitchen. This is Juicy Watermelon, Pinch of Sea Salt, and Ocean Waves. It was very nice. Um, just a really nice, fun, fruity watermelon scent. I have all my fall scents um, in soap. So just about. I'm waiting to finish a strawberry pound cake in our bathroom right now. And it's almost done. So then I will fully be into the fall scent for hand soaps. All right, let's quickly go through the wax. So I finished two scoops here from L3. The first one is Boomstick. This is cinnamon sugar, glazed donuts, and pumpkin spice. I loved this one. This is like a perfect fall scent to me. I love cinnamon sugar, pumpkin spice, and glazed donuts. Just add that like perfection fall vibe. Um, especially the pumpkin spice and the cinnamon sugar. It's so, so, so good. And I love scoops. Um, they don't last as long as hard wax, but they throw so well for me for like at least the first three to four hours. I get a really good scent throw from them. And I also finished Ciderlene Hufflepuff. Love this one. I love Hufflepuff. I can do it all year round. It's fresh baked cookies, sweet cinnamon sugar, and pumpkin pasties, and then mixed with that cider lane. Phenomenal. I loved this one. It's definitely like cinnamon. You definitely get cinnamon, but you also get that cider lane like perfectly mixed in there. It was so good. Oh my God. This is a perfect fall scent for me. Okay, so I had <clears throat> half a loaf of NYX from L3 in here. I had to split it up a long time ago because the bag broke, so I had to split it up into two smaller bags. This is Sweet Lavender, Cotton Candy Frosting, Cupcakes, and Spearmint, and not my favorite. It's, I really like lavender and bakery together, but this one just wasn't my favorite. I think it was the spearmint that kind of threw it off for me. The spearmint with the bakery with the uh, lavender and <coughs> sorry oh my god so yeah not my favorite but I still did it I still finished it this was for me sweet lavender sampler from L3 um and I finished sweet lavender pink chiffon pink sugar crystals um, I do these samplers mainly in my bedroom, especially the lavender ones. If it's like a different type of sampler, I might do it like in my downstairs because one of these buns actually would probably be perfect for one use downstairs. So I have six full size warmers downstairs. So I think I could cut a bun into six pieces, right? Yeah. 
And then I have one small warmer in my bathroom, but I would just do that like with a different scent or something. So I love lavender scents and this was actually very good. It was really like a sweet, sweet, sweet lavender from the pink chiffon and the pink sugar. It was really good. Rose Girls, I finished Peppermint Cookie Land. So good. I loved this. I did this downstairs. Um, definitely peppermint, but then definitely you get that cookie. And it was a really, really, really good combination. <coughs> <coughs> I finished a two pack of buns from L3 in rosemary mint, peppermint, and vanilla bean noel. This was so good. I love rosemary mint and I love peppermint and I did this in my bedroom and I just loved it so much. <clears throat> you get a little bit of sweetness from the Vanilla Noel and it was so good. I love any minty scents. Rose Girl jumping on cranberry clouds. Oh my gosh, I love to do this. Sweet cranberry <clears throat> and then the rest is gonna be jumping on clouds which is vanilla crunch donuts cup of cake, cotton candy frosting, monster cookie, and marshmallow smoothie. Her cranberry is phenomenal. And I don't have a lot of experience with cranberry oils, but oh my gosh. I loved it. I loved it. This was like so perfect for my, this was like right as I was transitioning from summer scents to fall. And this was so good. I love her cranberry. I need to try more of her cranberry. Vintage Chic Scents, Sally Strawberry Pound Cake Bakery. Just like walking into a bakery filled with sugar cookies and strawberry pound cake. So this is from January, 2022. So I knew I needed to get this going. Um, I did this in my bedroom. It was okay. It was her strawberry pound cake isn't like the strongest to me. It was pretty light, but it was like a really sweet strawberry bakery that was kind of in the background. It was good though. It was sweet. Oh, these are, these have been in here for a while. All right. So I finished a loaf here from L3 and sugar cookie dough, pumpkin pecan waffles. This was really good. I finished this downstairs. Um, after melting this whole thing, and here's the thing. When I had this in my melting basket, I was determined to finish it before I put it away. So I've kind of gone out of that, like, finish it until it's gone. Now, I'm not necessarily, like, putting it back into my collection because I don't really like doing that, but... I'm still like pulling things into my wax melting basket instead of just finishing everything until I can pull more. I'm still like, I'll take a little bit of this. I'll do this one day. And then I'd say week rolls by and I'm like, I don't want to melt that. I'm not going to force myself to melt it because that's what I was doing to get it done. So I'm just going to keep pulling more into my basket. And then when I want to melt this, I'll melt this. Like, I don't know. So, oh my gosh, 18 minutes in. Okay, um, really good. I love pumpkin pecan waffles. It just kind of burnt me out a little bit from it. A Bitty Betty Loaf in pumpkin pecan waffles, cake batter, sugar cookie brayal. Again, really, 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 really good. Um, kind of over the pumpkin pecan for right now. Um, this was a, a loaf from L3, but I think I had to split these bags up too. This was half of a loaf and this is the last half in October vibes. Candy corn, marshmallow, birthday cake, sugar cookie royale. Loved this, loved it, loved it. It was a very sweet vanilla bakery. It smelled like vanilla cake to me. This was a cloud cake in Hello Frosty from L3. Vanilla Bean Noel, Cupcakes at Tiffany's, and Peppermint. I really love this blend. I was obsessed with it last year, and I have a little bit of it. So I really, really, really like this one. The Cupcakes at Tiffany's and the Vanilla Bean Noel made it super like decadent, 
and then the peppermint and cut it really nicely. I finished two um, clams from Kay's Scented Melts, Lumberjack Contest, Leaves, Autumn Flannel, and Palo Santo. This is so good. If you like those set notes, this is so, 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 so good. I loved it and it was so strong. Haunted House Season, smoke and fa Smoky Fallen Leaves, Apple Clove Butter, and Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. Delicious. Um, you get sweetness from the PPW, and then you get some nice sultry, savory, smoky fallen leaves and apple clove butter. So good. A few more, a few more. I finished a trig tart from L3 in Black Sea. I did like all L3 and a few Rose Girl and a few K. Okay. Black Sea, not my favorite. Just tried to get it done with, and I mixed it with something downstairs. I forget what, but yeah just not my favorite and then a sample here from rose girl in waffle cone i believe i mixed this in with like one of the ppw scents and i really like her waffle cone that is all guys that is everything i am going to end this video now thank you guys so much for watching i have to get to work i'm sorry um and i will be on soon i have a rose girl order coming i ordered from her rts this past weekend and then I'm waiting on some pre-orders that I'm really excited about. And yeah, I've been ordering a little bit of wax here and there. I've been really good about it the past few months, but I have fallen back into it. But it's fine. It's fine. All right. I hope you guys have a great week and I'll see you guys in my next video.